in Matthew chapter 8, Yeshua heals three people. There's a tangential lesson wrapped right up into those three people and how they are metaphorically related to one another. Then we move on to a time where he just is healing everybody all around him. Massive crowds of people coming to him to be healed. Eventually, it gets to the point where there's so many people around him that he says, we need to get out of here. And he hops on a boat and goes to cross the sea. While they're crossing that sea, danger comes on the horizon. A storm almost drowns them. And it's here in this storm that we have another lesson from Rabbi Yeshua, HaMashiach. Let's learn together. Yeshua crosses the Sea of Galilee. And when he does this, he's asleep on a pillow. Now when he got into a boat, his disciples followed him, and suddenly a great tempest rose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. Then his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us. We are perishing. Let's get this straight. We're not on a Coast Guard cutter. We're on a handmade fishing boat from the year zero, which is about the year 3000 or so in the 6000 year structure of reality. And these guys are generational fishermen. Probably their great granddads were fishermen. They knew how to fish. Not only were they fishermen, but they were on their home sea. I don't know if you've ever been to the Kinneret or the Sea of Galilee. It's not that big. The point is, is that these guys thought they were about to die, and indeed they were. And Yeshua's asleep on a pillow? Let's put our feet into Yeshua's shoes for a minute. He was probably thinking to himself, after all this is done, in his meditation and prayer time, what the heck was going on? That was completely unnatural that I was asleep during that time. Father, what are you saying to me? And just like the wisdom of his mother Mary, he likely hid it in his heart to be meditated on. That was a physical storm and his disciples needed his help. And he woke up to get, and he woke up to help them. We fast forward to the most important time in history. The very event that holds the fabric of reality together. Yeshua's death on the cross, his sacrifice for us, his defeating the evil one in victory and shame to that evil Hasatan. Yeshua was going to that cross and he needed to be spotless. Unforgiveness is not spotless. Do you see where we're going here? He brought his disciples to the garden to pray. There's a spiritual storm on the horizon. He could smell it. He could see the sky changing. And he told his disciples, pray for me. Three times. And they kept what? Falling asleep. Could you not pray for an hour? It's enough. The time has come. Pray that you not enter, do not enter into temptation. What a sad time. Yeshua desperately needed their help. He had been weaning them like little babies for months upon months. And those poor guys could not keep their eyes open for one hour to pray for him in his time of need. It would have been a hard thing to forgive, but he had to forgive it. But the Father had been there to prepare him for just such an event. Why? Because our Father is awesome. Are you under the tutelage of the Messiah? Are you being guided by the hand of the Almighty Father? If you're not, consider getting back on that horse 
giving up whatever it is you need to give up and doing the work of Yeshua with your own hands. Because at the end of the age, you're going to be judged based on your works. Shalom to you today, my friend. Hello, my friend, and thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, maybe click one of the videos that are popping up on the screen. And if you think that one of your friends would benefit from this video the same as you have, consider copying the link and sending it to them as a text message. I'm sure they will be blessed by it, just as you have. Shalom, homies.